In this week's Louisiana Speaks, I chat with Gail Benson, owner of the New Orleans Saints and the New Orleans Pelicans. Miss Benson is the first woman to be the majority shareholder of voting stock in both an NFL and an NBA franchise. The New Orleans native shares her insight as a business, cultural, and philanthropic force in Louisiana. Mrs. Benson, thank you so much for having us here in your gorgeous office, which is to be expected given thank all you. your interior design experience. So let's talk about what we're all excited about right now, the Super Bowl coming to New Orleans in 2025. How are plans shaping up? Oh my goodness, we have been planning this for over a year, ever since it was announced two years or three years ago. And um, plans are in the making and we're very excited and every day is a new day and we just make better plans every day for the big event. Can we give us a little hint at some <laughs> of these plans? Well, I'm going to be hosting a big party, and so for the owners and some of the other people, and uh, we haven't really finalized the venue yet, but we're close. We have two that we're thinking about. Well, I know it's going to be fabulous, of course. Now, it's also the Superdome's 50th yes. anniversary in 2025. 50th anniversary, that is quite a legacy. What are we doing to acknowledge that? Well, we're gonna be completed our renovations, which is gonna really be great. And um, and of course, the Superdome is gonna be fabulous because we'll be finished with everything. And then hopefully we'll be in it. <laughs> we won't be just watching. <laughs> So, we're kind of hoping on that. Well, I'm putting out good vibes for that. And good. I know the entire okay. state of Louisiana <laughs> is as well. Now, I'd like to talk about, I think this is, is really forward thinking, and that is that the Saints exclusive international marketing rights in France. This is the NFL's first venture into the country. Can you tell us how this is shaping up, this partnership? You know, we're still in the preliminary stages, meeting with a lot of people in France, developing a lot of relationships with them, with the ambassador and the council here. So we are working in that direction, and I think it's going to be very good. I think it makes perfect sense, given Louisiana's oh, strong French heritage, yes. right? Yes. And you know, it was because of the ambassador to France, the former ambassador to France, that we got to go into Notre Dame, and then I brought all the people from New Orleans to go with the cathedral, and so we've kind of worked that in together. So it, it's just kind of evolving. It's becoming very successful for us. I think it's really a great opportunity for Louisiana to marry sports and culture together in yes. a very meaningful way. Yes, and that's what they're doing. And I mean, it's it, it just makes perfect sense. And they're loving it, which is great. <laughs> It'll be interesting, too, to see who's Florida Lee is prettier, <laughs> right? Is it Louisiana's interpretation of France? Uh, moving on. So I would just like to um, ask you, you know, our viewers are so curious about what you do. You do so many amazing things, not only in sports, in business, in philanthropy. Any other thoughts that you want to share with us? Um, on those areas? Hey, there are three big areas, and if you want, let's break them down. You know, I enjoy every business that I'm involved in. I enjoy the business part. You know, I have dealerships and real estate and venture funds and in addition to sports and everything else I have. But my most exciting part of any of these are the business end, is the business end. And um, I'm just excited. I, I enjoy the business part. I mean, I enjoy going to the games, but I also like the bottom line. Well, and I enjoy seeing it. That, that business savvy that you take also translates into your philanthropic work, yes. all, you know, because you are a phenomenal um, community mobilizer and fundraiser and quite generous. And, and that's very um, humbling for me to be able to do some of the things that I've done, especially renovating the cathedral. I mean, that's a huge building. <laughs> That is a huge and so I just feel that I'm just uh, so blessed and humbled to be able to, to be part of that and have many people in my staff working on it and many of my friends and all the people on the outside and people are learning about it and, and it's just been a blessing and it's been very nice. And it's a gift to the state of Louisiana. It is, it is a cultural treasure as well. It is. And then we have the Cabildo and the Presbyterian next door. So you've got all three of these beautiful buildings that we can't lose. So it's just perfectly situated. 
Well, 2025 is shaping up to be super exciting with the Super Bowl, the Superdome's 50th, and 2024, which we are in, <laughs> also quite exciting. Any final thoughts before we go? Um, well, we just um, hoping that we can continue to do what we're doing and do it well. And that's really all we can ask for, that and good health. And good health. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Mrs. Benson, for having us. Thank you very much.